last snow video when I was out in the snow photographing birds. And right now it's time for another snow video because currently there is about a foot of snow on the ground. It's still coming down really hard. They're saying we could get up to two feet, which is crazy. That's the most snow that we've had here in years. Right now, you can just see there's just so much snow coming down. You can't even really see like across the street from my house right now because there's so much snow coming down. So I got my camera gear and it's time for some snowy photography. So I think you should be able to see me pretty well. Got my GoPro out the window. So intense, I might need to get like a towel to put down. I wasn't expecting it to like blow in my room this much. But this Red Rooster Nut Hatch has this pattern that I've noticed in my other times of trying to photograph it. But what it'll do is it'll go to the feeder and then it'll go over to the trees over there and it'll go crack the seed and eat it. I need to close the window a little bit. Well, I'm just all wet. Oh, I can fly. Oh, oh, the stone just came off the roof and hit me in the face. I might go outside in a minute. It might be easier, but I might try for some more high key shots like last time. It was intense, so I went and got a towel. I also put on rain pants and a, uh, a jacket. So far, like just kind of the common stuff with either titmice, chickadees, white throated sparrows, juncos, blue jays, cardinals, red breasted nuthatch, goldfinches, house finches, all the usual stuff so far. But with the snow this big, something unusual is bound to show up. You know, that's just that's just the way it works. I remember one of the last big snows that we had a couple of years back. Now this snow hit in March. So this kind of was part of why this happened. But the snow hit in March, right around the time when woodcocks are doing their courtship displays. So this hit right around the time when they're like pretty active. And I really wanted to see a woodcock because I had only heard one once and I hadn't heard one for years. And wouldn't you know it, with this snow, it was like this thick coat of like ice on top of the snow. So it was like rain and snow, it was like this big mess. So under our wood pile, there, was no snow under there or ice so woodcock went and crawled under the wood pile and was eating night crawlers out of there and it was so cool i got to watch it through my scope out the window for a while and it was just such a cool experience to get to have with a woodcock and then later that day i found my life for wilson snipe at the retention pond you've, you've definitely seen the retention pond in my videos and then there was also a fox sparrow that came to the feeder too so in this one snow i got a lot of pretty good stuff So I'm outside now. As you can see, there's a good amount of snow even after my dad plowed a little bit. So I'm out here now. I was trying to photograph birds out the window for a little while. It wasn't going that well because a lot of the birds were just kind of going to the feeder and were on the ground. So I'm actually going to get my ground pot out and try for some shots outside in just a minute. But first, I'm going to fill the feeders and everything like that. So now I'm out here, fill up the feeders. Got my camera on a ground pot, got the right angle viewfinder going. Got the dry bag on the camera. We're all set. I 
really want to picture this red breast and attach in the snow, but he's just not, I don't know, he's just, he's never where I am. Like, I'll see him all the way at the top of the tree, like, you know, out the windows up there when I'm down here. And then when I'm out the window, I see him down here. So it's like basically wherever I am, he's not. So, but I do really want a shot at him. So we'll see how this goes. I've been waiting out here for a little while and he's still not coming. I know as soon as I go in the house, that's when he's gonna come. Just got a few decent shots of a white throat spot that landed close. It's snowing a pretty good amount right now, so I like that. It's getting kind of dark out, so I'm shooting with a really low shutter speed right now. So, that's why, one of the reasons why I got the monopod going. My camera battery is also about to die, so I think I'm actually going to go have to run in and get my second battery. Next day now, it's still snowing outside. I feel like this is kind of like the last snow where I tried to photograph stuff on the first day, but then it got too late. And that kind of happened this time. And also the birds just weren't really that cooperative. So today I'm back out here. For now, I'm gonna try to photograph some stuff out the window and we'll go from there. This is what it looks like outside the window. I've got this tree here, this tree here. There's some various bird feeders. And I also forgot to mention this, but yesterday, our gazebo went down, so I was actually, had just finished trying to photograph some stuff out the window when all of a sudden I heard all this banging and crashing and I looked and the gazebo went down. So that's kind of unfortunate, but that also happened yesterday. So there's the feeders. Red breasted nuthatch is actually on the feeder right now. Just moved over to outside on the ground pot again. And oh, there's a blue jay. Just got everything set up. My usual spot right here. Just gonna switch that over to the right angle viewfinder. It's a lot of white thread sparrows I hear. So just gonna slip this on there. It's snowing a little bit. I probably should, I mean it's not that bad, but I may have to go in for my waterproof bag if this picks up a little bit more. But I'm just gonna just gonna first get set up, make sure everything looks pretty good. Signs wise and viewfinder wise. These sparrows are moving pretty quick, so I actually don't know if the right angle viewfinder is gonna be the best for this type of situation, but we'll see. And maybe something good will come, maybe a fox sparrow. It's kind of what I'm hoping is like fox sparrow, American cherry. Maybe even white crown. I've never found a white crown sparrow in the yard. And I've actually never really like photographed one well. So that would be really cool if I could do that. I saw one over the weekend, the immature, but wasn't really like photographing it because by the time I realized it was a white crown sparrow, it was already gone. So time for some shots now and I'll get back to you. So I spent a decent amount of time sitting under the bird feeders with my camera on the ground pod trying to get some shots. And I was able to get some decent shots, but honestly, the snow is so deep. We probably have like over a foot at this point and it's still snowing that I couldn't really get, like I was trying to like pack the snow down, but it was like hard to pack it down that I wasn't really able to get. So the last time when I was out in the snow, I was able to get like that high key Junko shot where it was just like all white and you just saw the Junko. This time I was able to get some similar shots, but you do see the wall, that wall right there in the background of the pictures because I couldn't really get down far enough. Anyway, now I'm gonna try for some shots out the window again. They're all little bird prints. If I had to guess, these are probably all juncos and white throated sparrows, and they look about the right size too. They're all over the place. Day three of snow photography, and they finally cleared out my street so I can get out and do some photography at some spots other than my yard. It's really cool to do photography in my yard, but it's also cool to explore some other local areas too.
Just made it out here. And I think it made me start a winter run, which is actually one of my targets for today. It's to try to photograph a winter run out here. Oops. It's crazy. It looks like nobody has been back here yet, with the exception of deer. There's a lot of deer tracks. I don't really know. Yeah, there's a lot of deer tracks, but there's no tracks from anyone else. At least not yet. It's crazy the amount of sparrows and juncos that are in the fields. Right now, I'm actually just sitting in the fields with my camera. And I was just waiting, and a field sparrow just came up. I was able to get some shots of it. It was tough. There was this, this other little, like, tree grassy thing that was right behind it that is, like, kind of directly behind it which I don't really care for but aside from that the scenery here it's just awesome because it's like the wintry fields with the snow and stuff and this flock this is probably like over a hundred birds like not even exaggerating and I see them flying up ahead so I'm gonna go over to them oh here so There's two of them, I'm guessing male and female. Just spent some time right here photographing some bow and crown kinglets. The shots came out pretty decent. The first time, I wasn't even ready. They just started coming in. 